Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part 7 of the Russian Grand Campaign. We are trying to destroy Poland here, and we have a little bit of a situation. We have this uh, Polish prince attacking Novgorod. So we've got to send some reinforcements over here to support this city. And if we can kill this army, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to cut through Poland with ease. And we need to um, retrain all my units here. They suffered a lot of casualties. And over here, they're a little upset. We're going to do normal tax rate. And continue to recruit archers. We only have 200 in gold, so we're nearing the end of this turn. And pretty soon, we are going to take uh, Moscow. Once we deal with Poland here. I think after I take this settlement, this Polish castle, I'm going to focus and take Moscow real quick. Just Because a lot of people are telling me that it's, it's a very wealthy city. And that it'll bring a lot of wealth to your to my to my empire here. So I'm gonna go. And plus, I'm Russia. You gotta get Moscow, right? So I'll let the the troops here replenish, and then we'll march and take out these two Polish settlements here. And then once we defeat this army, we'll take the victors here, and then have them march down. So let's end the turn, guys. There's my diplomat. I'm looking for Venice right now. There's the Moors. I don't have I trade with them yet I don't remember I do not recall uh oh all right he's gonna attack but that's a big mistake on his heart on his part because I have a decent amount of archers and infantry let's go ahead and win this battle here we are guys a, a beautiful snowy day let's start deployment I love this uh, type of city this is like Death Valley over here, just on how the architecture is, the defense, how the walls, I can like fire at their flank, it's beautiful. Alright, so let's make sure I've got, let's see here, I think I'm going to send this archer force this way, and send the spearmen here. So archers go this way. And everybody, all the archers, turn off skirmish mode, use flaming arrow, and we can start this. Get get my mercenaries ready, because they're going to be the heart of my army, unfortunately. I hate having a lot of mercenaries, but we need them right now. And we get the spearmen ready over here as well. He has one ladder, one siege tower, and one ram. Well, actually he has two rams, but he's using one ram. And let's, guys, let's focus down the ram, please. see here come on get in range you bastard my archers have terrible range there we go there we go now we can focus it down looks like he's sending the ladders right here so my spearmen will be ready to get them in position Oh, look at this. Siege tower caught on fire. So that's nice. The siege tower here catching on fire. Here comes the ladders. And maybe we can get this ram on fire before it, it gets to our gate here. <laughs> yes, it just fell apart there. And we will march our spears here. Get them in position, form this uh, defensive V shape. Can we light this on fire? I don't think so. Come on, come on. Oh, it's some good hits there, but it's enough! Just barely, just barely. Do I catch that sucker on fire? So now all he can do is go up this ladder. So we're going to send more troops up here to defend. Archers, fire at will. Destroy them. Break them. Do whatever you want with them. This is going to be a slaughter. A turkey shoot. We need... Focus down the prince. Kill that damn prince. This is what you get when you betray your allies. <laughs> I will never forget. 
God, this is beautiful. I mean, this isn't even fair. Like, this is just, like, an execution. I mean, honestly, I should focus this archer unit, kill them. I mean, that's just a juicy target. I'll let this archer force kill the prince. Look at that. Oh, good volley there, guys. I might send up more troops up here if they start to get overwhelmed. Come on, fire. Give them, oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. They are, they're already breaking. Taunt militia. <clears throat> Oh, they're sending up another ladder. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that's good, that's good. I'll be okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hold with one unit here. And uh, keep the general nearby. At this point, it's too late. You know, I've killed so many troops that he's not gonna be able to push through. Keep firing at them. That blob. It's like, if you don't get a kill, it's like, you shouldn't even be an archer. Like, come on. How can you miss a single person in this? He has some uh, mercenary crossbows in melee up here. Let's see, it looks like he's got some Polish, like, nobles. Yeah, they're going to be the main concern, but they're not going to be good enough to push through. Come on, get this ram in position. Break down my gates. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the, watch the fire, guys. Let's not lose troops here to friendly fire. Where's the prince? He's not bloodied up at all. But I, I will be sure to kill him. Just completely slaughter him. Maybe capture him and then execute him. Nice, there we go. Kill that general's bodyguard. Alright, so he's breaking down the gates right now. Which is fine. I'm probably going to charge out there with my general's bodyguard once he breaks it out. Breaks it down, I mean. Yeah, come on. Look how small this gate is, too. What are you talking about? This is an easy victory. Alright, there he comes. Here comes the prince. Alright, generals. For Russia. Rally! Alright archers, careful while you're firing. Continue to fire at the men on the ground. Oh, they're breaking. The cowards are breaking. There he, is he dead? Fallen, so he's dead. I guess that's better than executing him. Alright, well, let's run them down. Completely run them down. Alright, kill these spears real quick. Alright, archers, uh, let's, hold, let's continue the battle. Archers hold fire. Generals, run them down. So they're no more. Let's kill 100% uh, of them. Let's fast forward. Yes. A shameful display. I'm very proud of my Russian army.
good experience for my generals here. Alright, that, that should be good enough. Uh, I'm gonna let this general kill this unit real quick. If they can catch up to him, oh my god. There we go. And we'll kill them. And we'll call it a match right about last man. Right. Oh, come on, kill him. Right now. Alright, thanks. Why am I, I'm saying like I'm saying it like it's an online battle. Thanks for watching guys. All right, so that's that's the game. We lost 117 men and we killed 622 and captured 140. All right, so we're gonna execute. This is the No Mercy campaign. Yes, he breaks. Break. Yeah, whatever. Not a big deal. We have other matters to deal with. Alright, we got a bunch of units retraining. Uh, what we're going to do now is regroup right here on this road. And we're going to send... Let's see, what do we need here? Can we get some units? Oh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. It's going to be expensive, but let's go ahead and combine them right here. We'll send forward some... What do we need? Do we need archers? No, we got a decent amount of archers. We need the infantry, that's for sure. So we'll send all of the infantry, and they will march, take back my cities. Damn enemy. Let's get my spy moving over this way. Oh, look at this. Not even defended. And then over here, we need to recruit some units as soon as we can. We don't have any money, but it's going to be a couple turns so we can move over there, because we need to replenish all our armies. All right, so for now, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is uh, raise an army here uh, once I have enough money and take Moscow, which should be about like somewhere around here. It might take a couple turns, but we really need to get Moscow. And then we, we will uh, continue our war path over here next turn. Oh, I forgot to trade with the Moors. I, I forgot. Am I trading or am I not? I'm trading with so many people, and so many people are like, oh, careful, Apollo, like, don't trade with too many people, but it, it really doesn't matter. If they declare, like, if the Moors declare war against me, it's not going to be a big deal, because um, they're so far away. It's not like they're going to send an army or anything. So, let's see here. Where's my other diplomat? I know, I'm trying to get to, oh, Sicily is all over the place right now. It's Taking out the Byzantine Empire, doing a good job. Alright. Um, we need to continue to retrain. And then we're going to, I guess we'll recruit like two units of woodsmen. So it's going to take like three turns till we can move forward. Look at this, he's building up some troops here. Alright, we'll move forward these troops. And then we'll move forward Ivan. Ivan the Terrible. Get my priest down here so I can get an idea of what's going on. We have some rebels there. And now we can invest in some woodsmen and some archers. So we're going to take two turns to build up this army. And then we'll move forward and take Moscow. Uh, we need to deal with these troops here. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, we'll worry about them later because it's not like they're moving anywhere. They're blocking some trade, but that's not a big deal. Now let's get my spies down here. Oh yeah, look at this. City is completely undefended. He's trying to send some reinforcements here. But it's it's not going to be enough. Alright. So, we have a thousand gold. We can probably build something. Uh, we don't really need land clearance in a, in a castle. Let's see. Grain exchange? We'll go for that. Increase the trade. And we'll call it, we'll call it a turn because we only have 500 gold left. Uh-oh. Who died? Oh god, I'm nervous. Send some troops. Let's see. Apply some pressure. What, what do they want? Oh, that's that's okay. I'm not going to worry about the Byzantine Empire right now. Okay, someone died, but I guess it was nobody from my faction. And, uh, we'll 
continue to get woodsmen. We'll get a blacksmith here going. That's that's all our, all our gold, unfortunately. Yeah, look at he's trying to build up more troops here because he can spend money. Oh jeez, we really need to get going. Really need to get going. There's a lot of enemies. They are just coming out. Faction air, the new faction air, because we killed the last one. Uh, we don't have any money to pay for those mercenaries. Let's see. We'll get um, some more woodsmen because we need the infantry. And we will end this turn. Come on, Portugal. Or Portugal, I'm sorry, Poland. He's scattered all over. Yeah, fight the rebels. Thank you. What the heck is he doing? You gonna fight me? Looks like we're gonna have a lot of battles here. Alright, let's fight this one. This one should be pretty easy. Here we are, guys, on the battlefield. It's a foggy day. It is raining. It's yucky. It's a great day for a battle, though. Um, let's get my archers grouped up together here, except for the cav. I don't want... My cab with that force, and we will get up on this hill. Get up off of that floor. All right, and then we'll get all the infantry. Pretty solid infantry force. Group them up. Mostly mercenaries. Ivan, you will be behind the main army force in the cab. Go to the flank. Let's start this. All right, what we're gonna do is quickly face this army before the reinforcements show up. So we can kill them one at a time, you know, Napoleon style. And then, Cav, go this way. Quickly, quickly, archers. Get in position, fire at will. Let's see, does he have archers? He has a crossbow militia, that's about it. We're going to focus down the dismounted, dismounted Polish nobles. Because they're, they're the biggest threat. We'll have one unit fight down the uh, the crossbows. Yeah, get that volley off. Pretty soon we're gonna charge. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, charge, charge infantry. Save the bows. There we go. Go ahead and run down these troops over here. Surround the general. Very awesome. Alright, bows stop firing. Let's reposition for the next wave. They're way over there, so let's get about right here. And prepare for the enemy. Uh, infantry, you can stop fighting. Let the cav run down the enemy. In general, he's just enjoying this battle, watching it from afar. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty good, guys. We'll slowly kill the enemy. Yes, there's the general, the captain. I think we killed him. Run them down and you can come back. Let's see if we can get up on this hill for the enemy. So we're probably going to have to run though. Go guys, go. Alright, Cav, you can start coming back this way. <clears throat> Just run him down. No Polish nobles will live. And we'll call call it off, come back. Yeah, 
He's got some Polish nobles, that's something to be worried about, but I have a lot of archers. And I have the hill. Which was pretty easy to capture. We'll go ahead and go in loose formation. Get my infantry close behind. General, keep marching. So let's... Let's fire down at the enemy. Oh, hang on. Let's get a little bit closer here. I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're taking their sweet time. Because they're waiting for all their... Re are they trying to run? What are they doing? Where are you going? <laughs> Fight us. You started this war. Now finish it. General just looked glorious there. Right. Yeah, we're, we're killing his peasant archers. Not sure where his nobles are going. We're going to fast forward a little bit. Sure, we'll kill one unit at a time. That's fine. You know what, screw this. Um, archers, focus down. Let's focus down this unit here. We'll charge the general to take care of them. Get the cav ready here, close behind. Because the Poland has a lot of cav. Oh, here we go. Infantry. Oh, Jesus. General. Okay, slow down. Okay, that is a big mistake there. General, you you crazy bastard. Yeah, just focus them down. Alright, so that escalated quickly. Alright, General. We cannot let you die. We need you. Alright, can we get some flanking around? There we go. Uh oh. Okay, they're breaking. Yes, continue to fight. Alright, his army is breaking. Yeah, run down those Polish nobles. Alright, this unit is almost completely destroyed. Get two units of my archers here to focus down this Polish noble unit. Uh, don't chase them, guys. They're just going to fire at you. You going to charge me? No. Alright, so I think we killed off that unit. We can now focus all of our attention to this Polish... Polish Noble Cav. And we won over here. Victory, victory, very good. Let's get my general over here. Try to flank behind the Cav here. This should break here pretty quick. Archers, hold fire. Alright, let's end the battle because they're just going to run away in their cav and we can't really chase them down. 
who lost 97, which is pretty low. Um, killed 200, captured 200. All right, we're going to execute. Yeah, get back inside that castle. And this is going to be pretty good here. Oh, is he running? Haha, <laughs> run. Let's see if we can recruit some mercenaries to aid us in our campaign here. Oh, by Denmark on Holy Roman Empire. Um, we can remain allies with one of those two people. Would you prefer it to be the aggressor? Uh, since I'm closer to Denmark, I'm going to take Denmark's side. Yeah, be mad. And now let's recruit some crossbows and attack. And I'm just going to maintain siege. What they're going to do is attack me. And I'm just going to have to kill every one of them and then take the city. Which is fantastic. Pretty soon I can move out this army. You know what, let's go ahead and move it out since they're occupied over there. This general is getting old. Uh, Vladimir, age 50 now. Damn, time goes by fast. Alright, so we're going to leave behind everyone, or we're going to take everyone except the spear unit. So this is going to be a massive skirmishing force. Get them moving. They're going to be a little upset, but we'll put them on growth build. and Well, hopefully next turn when we recruit those units, they'll be a little bit happier. Now let's take this army and move everybody except one axe unit. It's going to be a small force, but it's going to be necessary. Um, I guess we can recruit some units here to help them as they get as they uh, walk by here. All right, so we've got Ivan the Wonderful holding siege. And we're moving the king this way. It's going to take two turns. So let's end the turn. See what happens here. Alright, we're going to have us a fight. Uh, you're defending the wrong way. Uh, this one is going to be a pretty easy victory. Uh, Ivan, look how many stars he has. Great general. Um, I guess we have time to fight this one, so I'll see you guys in the battlefield. Here we are, chaps. Let's start this battle. And same strategy, we're going to run down the first wave of attackers, the first army, and then we are going to uh, march and take out the reinforcements. So let's group up the skirmishers, a missile... Except for the cav. Same strategy. Yeah, get them lined up here. We'll kind of get them right here. There's a slight hill. All infantry group up. Group together. And then all the cav. General go right here. Start. Alright, that's fine. Let them bring them in. Uh, looks like they're marching forward. So what we're going to do is take my skirmishers here, get in loose formation, get my infantry right behind them, we'll get my cav over on this flank. Yeah, come down and march me. Oh wait, are they coming behind? Oh yes, they are coming from behind. Alright, so that means we need to push. And what we're going to do is push for this hill and then quickly turn around and fight. Uh, they're rushing though, they're rushing forward, so we're going to have to do the same. We're going to have to push forward here. Archers, get a couple volleys off and then we'll move forward. I'm on fire. They're not in range. Their crossbows can fire though. There's really no point in trying to weaken their numbers. We can we can beat this pretty easy here. Just get my general in the mix. Get my cav over here. Hopefully my cav survive. I don't want them to die. Oh, 
Oh, we do have some Polish nobles coming out of the trees, though. Yeah, run down these woodsmen. Alright, cool. Now let's march forward and set up on this hill. We're just gonna have to avoid the Polish nobles for now. Oh, we do have some fighting in the trees, though. Are we winning over here? Looks like it. Oh, my Druzina is down to one. Get out of there. I want you to live so I can replenish you. He has a silver chevron. I'm going to kill them. Okay, that unit's breaking. Quickly, let's turn on the enemy. Alright, his reinforcements are just standing there. I don't even know why I'm rushing. <laughs> Maybe because I'm Russia? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, we captured him. Defeat the rest of them. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is set up on this hill. And let the enemy come to us. Because they, they attacked us. They have to defeat us. Why chase them down? Oh no, what happened to my boyer's sons? Oh, they beat him! How? That's annoying. Archers killed him. All we need is one uh, crossbow unit to focus him down. Hate you Polish nobles. General, go this way. Alright, we killed 29% of them. You know what, we actually should run them down. Because, um, I need to kill at least 80% to take the city. Come on, chase them down, Drazina. <laughs> My one Drazina. Come on. You should be able to run faster than Breaking Cav. Alright guys, welcome back. I had to cut it there because Poland is taking forever to get to me. And finally he's marching through the trees here. This is my position right now. I've got two crossbows. They're going to focus down the um, Polish nobles here. And then I've got my main force preparing for the infantry marching through the trees right now. Got dismounted Polish nobles, peasants, peasant archers, very low unit. Let's see. Yeah, more Polish nobles. Not a big concern. My uh, mercenary spearmen should be able to handle them pretty easily. Remember, I want this Druzina to live, so I'm going to kind of retreat him back so I can replenish him. Come on. Oh, nice. My crossbows are already firing. Look at this. Already getting kills. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. More Cav coming in. Are they going to charge into my spears? I don't think so. They n Or charge into my bows. They never charge. Except now. God. That's why I have spearmen nearby. In general. Archers, focus down them. Alright, retreat, retreat. General, retreat. Crossbows, continue to fire. Oh, they're coming to the flank here, though. Oh, General, going in. Oh, God, he's breaking my men. Need to get my General over here. Archers, get out of there. Crossbows, careful. Why are my spearmen way back here? Come on. Oh, jeez. This is going to be a lot harder than I have hoped. My 
A general. I'm gonna need that Drazina unit. Come on, come back. Oh no, they're bra they're flanking my troops here. Oh god, this is not good. I need to kill this general. Hold, men, hold over here. Oh, nice. My general's kicking his ass. Come on, if we kill him, it's over. Oh, of course, he runs away. Just continue to fire at him. He's charging my spears. Or my bows. This lone Drazina is going to go in and finish off the general. <gasps> no, he was killed! No! Alright. That prince is going to give me hell. Or that... I think it is their prince, isn't it? I don't know. That general is going to give me hell. Focus down the general. We kill him, the battle's over. Ivan, you're doing a great job, buddy. Where's all my skirmishers? Fire at them. Spearman. Close the jaws on the general. Polish noble is coming out of the trees. My general is kind of in danger right now. So is theirs. Alright, don't chase him down, general. Just stay away from those nobles. Oh, look at him. He will... No, 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 no. No, he's not going to live. Oh my god, if he gets away... Come on, kill him. Ugh, he's gonna get away. Come on, he's right there! Fire at him! That sucks. I, I should've sent my general over there to fight him. Alright, all my infantry focus down the Polish nobles that are charging into my archers. I need, to, I need to send my general back up here. We will meet on another battlefield, my friend. And I will destroy you. Take your life. Archers. What the heck? He's got peasants coming back. Those Polish nobles are such a pain. Come on, your general ran off the battlefield. You should have no, like, stomach to fight. Alright, don't die, general. He's, uh, he's kind of bloodied up, so I'm going to get him out of there. Come on, everybody kill him. There we go. I'm just going to end it. Uh, that was a pretty close battle. Uh, we killed 360 and captured 63. Alright, we're going to execute so we can take the city. Right? It's ours, right? It's not ours yet? Maybe it is once our turn begins. So he's got a large force that was like near my uh, eastern territory. Oh my god, can you hurry up? Thank you. We're going to sack it. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. That was a that was a hell of a battle to, to end the episode on. And uh, let me just quickly look at what we got going on in here. Oh yeah, we can retrain some good units here. Oh look it, I've got my calf back. That's awesome. And 
let's get a small orthodox and I guess that's all we can re uh, retrain. We'll recruit some archers to help hold the siege. Because look at all these Polish armies. Uh, he, Poland had an army like marching somewhere over here, strangely enough. We'll get that army going. And the army over here, we will march forward. Wait, what? Attack neutral faction? We're, are we at peace? I think not. How? What? Let me look at my diplomacy here. I'm making this video way longer than it should. How are they not my enemies anymore? Did I ever agree to peace? I don't think so. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.